I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day everybody. Well, um, I've had that meeting on the 28th of February with Jackson Cutting in regards to having my stuff taken off me, the recordings um, being missing. Jackson, hi. Here you go, I'm Jackson Cutting. Yeah. Um, I just want to take you on recording the conversation. What's, what's with this? These signs have just popped up. Yes, what are they all about? Yeah. And can I get a copy of the order from the judge? Not a judge. It says by order of the judge. So it says on the sign there, by order of judge. So oh. get a copy of the order. Would be really good. Oh, all right, Jason. No. Uh, appreciate it, mate. No, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, and I might just go back to the order and just both these and shoes, and then sure. I'll give you something formal. Just to make sure I'm not missing it. All good. Thank you very much. Um, all those sorts of stuff. And Jackson emailed me on the 28th of March saying that he was going to be delayed by the 6th of April. Um, it's now the 10th of April. Heard nothing from them, so I emailed him this morning. Since I emailed him this morning, I have now received an acknowledgement from the registrar for my filings that I filed yesterday, which I should have got straight away. I have received finally the transcript of the whole 10 page document that took them over six weeks to produce and get to me. And now I'm getting a, an email from a Chris Hurd from the Ministry of Justice. He's Chief Legal Counsel for the Ministry of Justice, and he writes to me the following. Dear Mr. Keane, recordings in buildings. I refer to your email of the 23rd of March 2018 to Jackson Cutting, Manager, Justice Services, White Matter. For a start, that's wrong, it's Auckland Central. Um, regarding recordings in central buildings. As this is a legal matter, I've been asked to respond. Is it? Signage at criminal counter. You refer to the signage at the criminal counter of Auckland District Court which states no photography or filming by order of the judge slash registrar. You have asked Mr Cutting to produce the relevant order. As I will explain, the wrong sign is being displayed, which will be rectified. Good. But the prohibition still applies. The signs that refer to an order by the judge registrar is a sign used for courtrooms. No shit Sherlock. Not to general public areas of the court building. Filming, audio, recording and photography, collectively recording, inside courtrooms is a matter for the judiciary, not the ministry. Recording in general public areas is a matter for the ministry. Really? It's a public area. It's not a matter for you at all. As the owner or lessee of the building. As the owner Lisi of the building, the Ministry can impose conditions on entry. As courts are public buildings, these conditions must be reasonable. The court manager is responsible for deciding the conditions of entry that apply to a court. Really, I thought court building. It is a condition of entry of most, if not all, court buildings in New Zealand that recording is prohibited. The reasons why recording is prohibited in the general public areas is that many people find it offensive to be recorded without their consent. Newsflash there, Chrissy. Don't need their consent. As you've clearly stated, it's a public court building, it's a public area, and there is no expectation of privacy in public. All around your court building, there are giant signs saying recording, uh, video recorders or are in operation. Um, I've just had direction from the judge to take all, all your uh, recording equipment off you and give back you with leave court. Why is that? Because of, uh, I believe it's because of stuff, some stuff that's been put up on the internet. I believe I was here to discuss the recording in the court today. Okay, I'm not going to be ruined for seeing the equipment. Well, um, yeah, you need to leave the court, and if I can get the and then you ask permission, I'll, I'll stay here with it, and then if he says yes you can, then I'll get back to you. At the moment the direction is from the judge.
that I am to uh, take any recording equipment, any equipment that you could possibly record with, oh. and, um, and give it to you when you leave. Uh, where does the judge derive any authority to open yeah, my stuff? Open me. In this courtroom, fine, and I've given this court notice of my intent. Well before this time, the court has not supplied any reason as to why I can't. You, 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 you are not allowed to record? Can you back that with something yes, in writing? Yes, I can. I'd, I'd like to see the order. order. Okay. If the judge has given you an order, I'd like to see that in writing, please. I, I have an email from the judge directly. Can I see that email? No, you can't well, well, then you have I can't just take your word for it, sorry, Grant. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say is well, then you can't leave the court with it. With? Yeah. With your equipment, oh, yeah. you give me your equipment or you have the equipment. One so am I being denied the right to be heard? No, no, you're not being denied the right to be heard. All I'm saying is I take your equipment and then you can seek permission from the judge. He says that you can, I'll give it back to you. If he says no, you can't, I'll give it back Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's because I'm suffering from that. By you or somebody else? Uh, whether it's by you or somebody else? Uh, I don't know. What? I need to hear what you're talking about. I don't understand anything uh, you're doing. All I know, I don't know myself. Right. Then you need to give me clarification and come back to me. No, I'm or show me this direction. In I have been given the direction uh, from the... From can the I see that in writing, please? Huh? Can I see that in writing? Okay, I'll show you the email if you want. Yeah. I have an email from the judge directly. Can I see that email? No, you can't. Huh? Can I see that email? Okay, I'll show you the email if you want. Yeah, sure. That's I'll what I find it. What's all this? Huh? What's all this? Oh, there's people. There's no need for you guys to stand around me. I don't need this intimidation. This is my court. I'm running my court. That's cool. You don't need to tell me what I have to do. You're a public servant, aren't you? Great, thank you. I'm not interested in talking to you. Okay. This is from Judge Lake. Okay, please. Sergeant Judge Newton, registry your Honour's direction to hold all of Mark Keane's recording devices while he is attending court today. And help, I make Can I get a copy of this? You can ask the judge for that. I can't. I'm not going to. I'd like to have a copy of that. You can. Yeah, you ask the judge for that. I'm sure you can. I'll tell you what. This is just disgusting. I'm not wasting my time. Are you entering a plea on my heart? Yeah, because you're refusing to enter a plea. Are you practicing law from the bench, Your Honor? I think you can't. Are you practicing law from the bench? Are you representing me like that, Mr. Timmy? I hold you in contempt and have you detained. Stop wasting my time. They're being recorded. Okay? Your CCT is recording for security. I can record for my own security given the threats and intimidation that have gone on at that court building. Now, <clears throat> the reason why recording is prohibited in general public areas is that many people find it offensive to be recorded without their consent. Just covered that. This is of particular concern in relation to court staff who Unlike members of the public, well, they're public servants acting in a public position, so they're still in public. Are we getting the, the relevance here? It's all public. Do not have the choice of leaving if they do not wish to be recorded. I'm not going to be dragging everyone yeah, 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 from the office for you to ask. I'm not asking you to drag anyone, I'm asking you to speak to one of your okay, well, public well, servants. Okay, what is it regarding? In regards to being told via email previous to coming here today that if I come to this counter and ask for the name of the Justice of the Peace or the judge that's presiding, that I'd be given that information and you're telling me no, sir. So. No, we won't be giving you that information and there's nothing that they can tell this you. Is, are, are you trying to hide something? Is there a reason no, why? No, there's absolutely nothing I'm trying to Okay, so Kim Hoods, Fiona Parks, if Georgina's not here, I'd like to speak to one of those, please. But they do have a choice to seek employment out of the public sector and into the private sector, and even then, they may still be recorded. You may be aware that CCTV cameras operate in general public areas of court buildings. This is qualitative. Mm, big words, qualitatively, uh, qualitatively different to recording by members of the public for following reasons. Well, that completely depends on what the member of the public is recording for now, doesn't it? Places where CB CCT cameras operate are clearly signposted. Thanks for backing up my point. 
Yes, it's signposted all over the place that cameras are in operation. So again, no consent necessary. Whereas a person may not be aware that a member of the public is recording them. Big fucking deal if they are. If they don't want to be recorded in a public area, they should run away to somewhere private, shouldn't they? CCTV footage is for security purposes and may only be accessed by authorised staff for related purposes. My footage is for my security and as a party to the proceedings while conducting court matters in relation to that proceedings, I have the right to record and keep a record of it in any shape or form I see fucking well fit. Best refresh yourself on the Bill of Rights Act 1990 section 14 if you don't Chris. CCTV footage is video only, no audio. Whoopty shit, the ears, like the eyes, cannot trespass. CCTV footage is generally overwritten after 30 days. Is that right Chris? Shouldn't you be keeping those public records for longer? I thought all public records can't be destroyed or overwritten. I guess it's different. Circumstances around direction to remove recording devices. Now this is in negation to Timmy and his order. On the 13th of July, Judge Black issued a direction that all recording devices were to be removed from you for the duration of your appearance in court before him. You have complained about the circumstances in which that direction came to be made, i.e. Rita emailing him 12 minutes before appearing, asking to have my stuff seized, thus making the judge unimpartial because he was stating on the transcript that I had some agenda. How the fuck would he know anything about what I was doing if he didn't ask me? He was made bias before I even got to stand in front of him. As I understand it, well, you can be misunderstood, Chris. You are unhappy that the direction was issued at the request of the court services manager. If that's what Rita was that day, okay. You consider this to be inappropriate. Yeah, I consider it interfering in a matter before the court. As I said earlier, stated earlier, actually, you didn't say anything. No, can't hear a word, it's only written. Recording inside courtrooms is a matter for the judiciary. No shit, Sherlock. They like to be the master of their own little domain. As a general rule, only the media, on application, which I filed, may record court proceedings at the discretion of the presiding judicial officer. The court services manager in question is also a registrar of the court and as such is perfectly entitled to draw matters concerning court proceedings to the court's attention. I trust this information addresses your concerns. Not even close, bud. Chris Hurd, Senior Solicitor, Office of Legal Counsel. Well, Chris, I'm about to go jump in and chew the living shit out of your pathetic excuses for trying to prohibit my rights. And I hope you enjoy my response. righty oaty people. I'm back now. I've written my response and sent it off to Chris along with other people. Um, this is my response to Chris and his email in regards to recording in public buildings, namely the courthouse. Greetings Chris. Response to recordings in buildings. We thank you for your letter dated the 10th of April with regards to our email to Jackson Cutting, Manager of Criminal Justice Services, Auckland District Court, regarding recording in court buildings. As this referred to questions around legal requirements and policy being stated by Jackson to overrule legislation, Jackson, being he is not legally trained, was incapable of answering these questions, of which you, Chris, have also failed to do thus far. Signage at, at Criminal Counter. We are aware that the signage at the Criminal Counter of Auckland District Court are improper and breach the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990 into alias, meaning among other things and doubt that any order exists. Thank you for confirming this. Being that no order has been produced, however, you appear to have some misunderstandings. 
we shall explain, referring to your errors for relevance. The ministry may be well a leasee or owner, however it is a public building and therefore a public place. We comprehend that judges like to have control of what goes on within their courtrooms and jurisdiction, however within public areas they do not. Prohibiting rights and freedoms affirmed in legislation, referred to Bora, not, uh, section 14, is not reasonable in any stretch of the imagination, and as you have failed to supply any policy of the Ministry stating otherwise or legislation allowing such a prohibition, this shall remain unreasonable. 2. Recording in public areas is however completely legal and you have provided no evidence to the contrary. 3. You claim general public areas that many people find it offensive to be recorded without their consent. Where do these people derive an expectation of privacy from, given they are in general public areas, where signage is posted, stating recording is in operation throughout all levels of these general public areas within this public court building? Clearly, there is no expectation of privacy in public places, unless you can show otherwise. You state, it is a condition of entry of most, if not all, whereas there are no conditions of entry to be seen. Can you explain or provide these conditions? You state particular concerns in relation to staff. Would they be public servants working for the public sector who are constantly, who are recorded constantly? Six, you state the staff do not have a choice of leaving. We noted no one was detaining them or forcing them to work in the public sector. If they have unreasonable expectations of privacy, along with seeking some professional help, they should seek other employment, possibly in the private sector. If they do not wish to be recorded, why is the MOJ recording them? Or for that matter, the hundreds of cameras filming their every move while in public places, areas, could it be that there is no expectation of privacy in public? Explain the qualitative difference you refer to. As a member of the public, anyone can record in public, short of toilets or changing areas, for their personal use, be it blogging, for their security, to keep a record as a party to a matter, or even just as a hobby. Just because security is used to justify Ministry of Justice recording, we choose to record for our own security and accountability of public servants into alias. Members of the public, while in public areas, do not have to be aware of someone recording them, as they are recorded everywhere in public. It would be naive to think anyone is not being recorded while in public. This is why it is defined as public. If members of the public wish to be private, they should go somewhere accordingly. Is that difficult for you to understand? Being that the Ministry of Justice security footage is a public record, it is disturbing that you mention they are overwritten after 30 days, deleting the public record in the process. Whether CCTV is audio or not, as the eyes cannot trespass, neither can the ears. Unless, of course, you can supply some legislative reference to where audio recording in public is prohibited, we would review this. Circumstances around direction to remove recording devices. On the 13th of July 2017, Rita, the register, sought direction from Tim, the bias and unimpartial judge, to have my recording devices seized. This breached Bill of Rights Act Section 21, unlawful search and seizure. We were surrounded and threatened, 12 minutes to being heard. This was after being informed we were there on a judge's list to discuss recording, which never happened. We were accused of having an agenda by Tim. He then threatened us with contempt and detainment for asking to be fully and fairly informed of the nature and cause of action as to make a fully and fairly informed Bill of Rights Act Section 24A willing and knowing plea. Rita, interfering with this matter, created a bias with Tim, which we have all on audio and video record. This caused Tim to enter a deemed not guilty plea, although we had expressed the opposite, even while holding up an unsigned plea of guilty to sign, pending points of clarification. 
Rita's actions, whether you believe them to be appropriate or not, interfered with due process and breached our rights and freedoms according to the Bill of Rights Act. Note that the District Court Access to Court Documents Rules 2017 Rule 12F also reiterates Section 14 of BORA. You have also misunderstood our unhappiness with being aggrieved. Our emotions, be they happy or sad, do not have any relevance as we are abiding by law, unlike Ministry of Justice staff. Given that on the 9th of February 2018 the entire five-hour trial was lost by the Ministry of Justice, just imagine if my application to record on that date was granted. We could still verify the perjury by the witness and set some case law in the process. You never know, someone may still have had this recording, couldn't they? Time will tell. Oh, charge dismissed, by the way. Even more reason to be able to ex exercise these pre-affirmed rights and freedoms in our humble opinion. As for the media comment, again, the media, like Ministry of Justice, do not have any more rights and freedoms than any member of the public do within public places. And yes, we consider a public courtroom, just like a public courthouse, to be public, and not private. It is out of respect and courtesy to the impartial and independent adjudicator that we exchange our pre-affirmed rights to that of a privilege granted. So, to be crystal clear, Chris, your information has not in the slightest addressed our concerns. You have complete misunderstandings with regards to public places and public recording, and if any public servant does not like working in the public sector or to be held accountable for rude or lack of services, such as had occurred in this instance, they should seek other employment. Of course, we would be happy to accept any evidence supporting your belief absent facts, and frankly, we expect better from a senior legal counsel. Failure to respond within 10 days shall constitute a tacit agreement that Chris Heard of the Ministry of Justice has no foundation or evidence to back his claim of an expectation of privacy in a public area, and no evidence to the contrary exists. Notice, all correspondence shall be published on multiple forums for maximum accountability of public servants in accordance with New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, Section 14, to seek, receive and impart information of any kind in any form. This response, along with your letter of the 10th of April 2018, will also be cc'd to Jackson Cutting, along with whomever else we wish to impart this with. Happy to discuss this with further if wish, feel free to contact Mark on phone number supplied. Have a fantastic afternoon, me. So, hopefully Chris, you'll get your fucking head around that one. There is no expectation of privacy, full stop, in public, unless you're in a public toilet or a public changing room, where there is deemed to be an expectation of privacy. I mean, that goes without saying, it's morally and ethically correct as well. However, to say that a general member of the public who's in a public area cannot whip out a phone and start recording, you are so fucking wrong. If you're saying there are conditions of entry, perhaps you'd like to post them up somewhere. Because I didn't see any conditions of entry when entering that courtroom. There was security, there was all sorts of shit, they saw I brought cameras in, nothing was mentioned. So perhaps your conditions of entry needs to be a little clearer. Or perhaps you could even supply something other than your opinion and belief, you know? Usually when I state things, like I have done here, I state facts. I state the legislative rules I'm, accord uh, I'm you know, in, in accordance with. I don't just tell people what I believe and expect them to take that as fact, which is what Chris has done. So, um, yes, Jackson still has to get back to me over the losing of the court record, um, but he told me he was waiting on further information. What I wonder is was Jackson waiting for Chrissy Boy here to send me what he sent me today, thinking that gets him off the hook. Sorrily mistaking. All of this is going up on YouTube. All of this is there for public purview. All of this is done within the public realm of a public courthouse dealing with public fucking servants. And if you fucking little bastards don't like being recorded while you're performing your public paid duties, get a different fucking job. Go seek some professional help. Lock yourself away in a private little house behind the curtains and stay there, alright? But if you want to work as a public servant, then you will be held accountable as such. Well, it's the uh, 13th today. Um, we still don't have power. I'm 
we've just filled up the boot full of petrol containers to keep our generator going. So we still have power, but the area is still out of power. Um, no phone line, no broadband, and our cell phone and mobile data services came on late last night. Um, I rang Telecom and um, until they get broadband on the landline working, they've given myself and another phone on the same account 20 gigs each to use. So what we do is we turn those phones into access points or mobile mobile access points and then we turn on the Wi-Fi on the computers. I just put a wee Wi-Fi dongle into the, lap, uh, into the desktop and the laptop's got Wi-Fi and we just connect to the access point that way. And um, so now we're back online now. I've checked my emails and I got an email from Jackson Cutting two days ago. You know, so of course I'm in the middle of a blackout with no phone, no data, no communications whatsoever. And he sends me an email. So just imagine for a second if I hadn't have filed my submission early on the 9th because on the 11th, the, the storm happened on the 10th, Tuesday night. On the 11th, Wednesday, nobody had any connections to anywhere. So I would not have been able to have filed that submission. Um, and in which case, I myself also would have been in contempt of court for not making my filing by, this, by that time. Isn't it funny how things work out? So, um, Jackson sent me an email telling me that he trusts Miss Dawson and Chris Hurd had answered my other questions and with regards to the failure to record the judge alone trial, which he's calling a court event um, and calling me a customer, he's saying that it was just due to human error. Now, it's a catch-22 there because I can say but the judge checked that the machine was in operation. It was confirmed at the start of the day that the court recording system was in operation. So what particular human error occurred? Was it deleted afterwards? Was it, was, was it because of some other human error other than the fact that it was already verified and confirmed that it was already working? So for him to say human error and thanks for your feedback and customer support and we'll retrain that, that staff member, he's not supplied who the person is, so I'm still wondering who's reversely liable. You know, I've got, they failed to keep a permanent court record. That's the whole point of the fucking court is to be there to keep a permanent court record of matters before the court. So for them to fail and to do their duty isn't just something I'm happy to accept as human error. Because, I don't know about you, but I'd class speeding a few kilometres over a prescribed limit also human error. But they saw fit to spend thousands of dollars to try and prosecute me for 10 months because of it. So isn't it fair that I also get to seek reverse liability for them failing? Now, I can't see case law. I can't hold the, the officer that purged on the stand accountable. You know, it's, or should I say employee, because he wasn't a sworn officer. You know, I'm being denied my right to justice, aren't I? So, I haven't heard back from Judge Mathis yet in regards to the submissions, but I do have acknowledgement that it will be put before her. So that's all I can ask for there, and Judge Mathis can take whatever time she needs to review it. Um, I hope Kate enjoyed reading it. I hope Roger enjoyed my plethora of paperwork. And I hope he enjoyed being fucking outed for his dastardly little um, actions. Oops. So, yeah. How you going, bro? The fuse popped, had it? Sir? Had the fuse popped? Well, they had, but that wasn't the main problem. That was one of the problems. All right. Oh yeah, the trees took them out, mate. Yeah. You're not far? No. 
Oh, that's brilliant. I've just filled up the petrol again because we've got the generator, so we're not too worried on this yeah. on this one corner here, but yeah, everybody else, yeah. mate. So we've pulled the lines up there, and then the place is going the last two lines there. And yeah. Yeah, that was the sparks of the fireworks we saw about yeah, 8.30. I was hoping it was just some trees that the branch had fallen on and fallen off. Yeah, um, I can't see anything. Yeah, Craig Francis cleaned up the trees that came down on Mahana oh, yeah. the day after. Yeah. And I think, yeah, they cleaned up those ones as yeah, well. Sweet, so that's all clear. So hopefully, once things are finished, I'll go and turn the switch and go back on. Shut up, mate. I'll keep an eye on. <laughs> I'll just wait till you're out so I can get in. <laughs> cool. So, Jackson baby has got back to me on the, this is dated the 11th, we've only just got services back after the storm, so I've only just received it today. It reads as following, Dear Mr. King, CRI 2017-04-00501, Paler to record judge on trial 9th February 2018. Firstly, I must apologise for the delay in response to your query and acknowledge your frustration in terms of the lack of recording available for the court event, uh, I call it a trial, which occurred on the 9th of February 2018. It's not frustration, it's the fact that the court, you know, the public court that's supposed to be there to keep a permanent court record, failed to keep a permanent court record. It's not my frustration, it's their failures that have now perverted the course of justice, so to speak. No case law, no perjury that I can come back on, no nothing. As we discussed during our meeting in February, I have investigated the issue and confirmed that the failure to record the hearing was a result of human error. So when did that human error actually happen? Hmm? Because Judge uh, Mathers leaned forward to the registrar and asked him if it was working. He confirmed it was going. So, at what point did the human error occur? Was it after the trial? Did someone delete it afterwards? That's what I need to know. Human error isn't sufficient for me to obtain redress. I can't go and sue human error for failing to keep a permanent court record. What I can do is sue Jackson and Rita and the registrar for failing to do their jobs correctly and take a personal private prosecution against them. Because they fail to do their job that they're getting paid to do. The staff member involved has been provided coaching and feedback on the court recording process to ensure that if that in future this kind of error and the consequent negative customer experience can be avoided. Now how about so that the court can do its job correctly and keep a permanent court record like it's supposed to. I don't know how you can coach someone to turn a recording system on or off, especially considering they confirmed it was already working. Um, so perhaps you're coaching people not to delete records after they've been kept, um, which is of course another offence. You're not allowed to delete a permanent record and you're not allowed to delete a public record. They're public courts, so that's a public record. I understand this to be the only matter outstanding on which you are seeking a response following the correspondence of Chris Hurd, Solicitor, Office of Legal Counsel, Ministry of Justice, 10 April 2018. Once again, Mr. King, I apologise for the inconvenience caused to you and thank you for bringing this matter to my attention. Like fuck you do, Jackson. You'd rather I just crawled under a rock and go the fuck away. You have not, your, your apology is not accepted. Your failures have not been explained. Saying it's human error, as I think mentioned before, if someone, through human error, accidentally speeds a few K over, they get a ticket, and then they get dragged through the court system for 10 months at their own expense to defend their innocence. That's human error, isn't it? It's human error to, to be slightly over the speed limit. I mean, you've just erroneously thought you were doing slightly, 
you know, less speed than what you actually were. You get a ticket. They have no problem spending thousands of dollars due to that human error to pro try and prosecute little old me into their court system. So why shouldn't I have that same option? Why shouldn't I be able to drag them through the court system for their human errors? So I need to know who fucked up, who deleted the record, because the record was kept. End of. Bye all. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will keep you posted. Bye.